Alexa, start na ako ha. Kung na kayo may ingay. Hello. Good evening, everyone. For a while, I'll just get my earphones. Hello, who's with me? All right. Well, good evening to those who are watching tonight. I see some who just logged in. Thank you for being with me. <laughs> this is the first of uh, first time after many months of um, being sort of inactive on producing video content. I've been very busy writing, as you know. Hi, Bernard. Thanks for uh, being with me. So, as promised, I said that I would go live every Saturday from 8 to 9 p.m. for free book coaching. You heard it right. You will have this free book, uh, <laughs> book coaching with me for an hour every Saturday. I thought, of, I thought of Saturdays because that's when we are not really, you know, busy and wow, busy. We are here in the middle of the pandemic. <laughs> I don't know who else is busy here. Well, tonight uh, we will have a very wonderful discussion and uh, I will be entertaining a lot of questions from you if you have. Uh, once again, I'm Ayo Gutierrez. I'm your book coach for tonight and uh, we're going to talk a lot about conceptualizing, writing, self-publishing, and marketing your book. Anything under the sun <laughs> when it comes to book writing and book publishing. Include the uh, book marketing as well because that's very important. Now, I think that, you know, in the last three months, we have had the best time of our life as far as not being busy is concerned. You know, prior to the pandemic, prior to the lockdown, because right now Cebu is on a strict lockdown again because of the rising cases of the infected here um, due to the coronavirus. So anyway, in the last three months, uh, we can no longer say that we, we didn't have any time for us. You know, prior to this, we've been wanting that somehow we could rest, we could find time for the things that we would want to do. And now it's here. So, and and the, the question is, what are some of those bucket lists that you have had in your life that you've been dreaming of to do? And now you you had three months. I hope that in the last three months you were able you were able to do some of those bucket lists, right? Some of the items in your bucket list. And now let's talk about as we say uh, say hi to my friend Lorraine. Hello, Lorraine. Thank you for coming here. If you have questions, okay, you can start typing so we can just, uh, it's so hard to talk to the camera when I have no one to talk to. I, I'm really used to speaking on, sta on the stage with uh, my physical audiences, but it's, you know, we are adjusting to the new normal here. It's not that I am not, I haven't done this in the past. I, I did. I was, I had a show on TV, but somehow, you know, after <laughs> some time, you had to, you have to brush on your skills again. Okay, first of all, let me just uh, let me just invite all of you uh, to please, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, <laughs> uh, please do so. Go ahead and click on my YouTube channel. That's Ayo Gutierrez TV. I have uh, embedded there some of the links from my previews. Um, you know, activities with video content such as Travel Art TV some of uh, the interviews that I had, some of the people of, that I had interviewed, as well as some poetry reading right there. Uh, you know, we were just, uh, you, when you're just a newbie, you're try, you wanted to try, try a lot of things until such time you want to narrow down your focus. So there. Uh, also, if you haven't uh, 
followed and liked my Facebook pages, I'd like you to encourage you. Take some time, like a minute right now, go to GMGA Publishing. That's GMGA Publishing. And also the marketing arm of GMJ Publishing, the outlet, which is the Poets League. So anyone out there who's into poetry, who loves to write or who's dreaming to write poetry, or, you know, if you love writing, just go over these pages and uh, like and follow if you want. As for my YouTube channel, I am producing uh, videos that relate to writing, okay? Writing. So there you could see like two to three minute videos, really short ones, uh, direct to the point, some of the best learning tips that I, I can share with you. And uh, I'll be populating that with more of you know, relevant content such as, uh, you know, rules of writing or I would be inviting some author funds to join me uh, during live interviews. I hope I could get JK Rowling to be with me or <laughs> the rest of the, you know, I really love, uh, what do you call this, sci-fi, YA fantasy, I'm an avid fan of those books, children's classics, anything under the sun actually, I read, I read a lot of books every day. Now, okay, let's go to our topic, write the book, alright, I like I told you, it may never come again, this According to the things that we are reading on the news, the forecast everywhere, we will be experiencing more of this stillness, of this being quiet, you know. So one of the things that you can really do right now is to include in your bucket list to write a book. You know why? Because you, you may never have this time again. It will take some time, probably another big crisis to hit us, the entire globe. Uh, but you know what? Stop praying about having more time. You have the time right now. So please include in your bucket list that you will write, not just write, okay? Not write, but you will write and publish a book. That's a friend, okay? A lot of people started writing books. Uh, but then over time, their manuscripts are rotting or gathering cobwebs in their drawers or attics or everywhere and they have totally forgotten it so you know we have the technology you don't need to store them there it's there on your computer on your laptop on your cell phone you can even write a book on your cell phone it doesn't matter there's a lot of ways to do it and if you're the traditional type you know you haven't lost uh, your preference over writing with your hand because sometimes i do that I, I i write both ways using the laptop and using my uh, using my cell phone that's what i do all right so now question is why am i encouraging all of you why am i encouraging all of you to to write your book there are several reasons and people have different intent or desires but maybe i'll just i'll be telling you more about my personal experiences with my books well number one um some people find it so cool that you have a book <laughs> really uh when I mean, if I ask you and you learn that someone has a book, diba? Parang ando dun yung wow factor. Really? Like he's an author, she's an author. And, you know, we, we tend to remember people, especially those whom we follow in certain industries. Uh, they, they become more credible. They, 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 they legitimize themselves in their industries because they are able to publish their own books. Like, it's a living proof. It's the new, it's the new business card. Like, I used to say... I keep telling in my seminars, no webinars that yeah, the, the new business card right now is no longer that small paper, right? It's already a big <laughs> one like this one. Your book. Your book is your uh your your business card, new business card. And it's more effective because it's not like when you receive a typical business card you read the name and the contact number where the person works and then you tuck it away right like unless there's a, an, a collaboration or a cooperation going on it's gonna happen but with the book you give it to someone okay you, you, for example this almost is the same as never book you give it to someone when, when i give this book to someone the the conversation doesn't stop there okay 
almost immediately when we I part ways from people, especially with my husband because he's actually the the main author of this one. I supported him, okay. But when he uh, every time we would part ways with people whom we have given the book, uh, they they would call us. They will message us and uh, they will tell us something about the book. So that means to say it's a way to continue to continue the relationship. And in fact. Uh, it's the best way for other people to learn about you because what you write is who you are, right? So as simple as that. Now another, you know, another thing that uh, one of the reasons why I am encouraging you to write a book is because also it is another source of, of passive income. Active, actually active and passive income. Uh, gone are the days when you say there's no money in writing okay because i tell you there's just a lot of people i can call right now i can tell you those who have made it big in writing and publishing and 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 mind you this is not traditional publishing but the superstars of today are those who are self-publishing because they, they 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 are the ones who are in control of the future of their book and i'm going to talk to talk to you about that more so once again, this is Ayo. If you have questions, please just feel free. If you have any comment or objections to what I'm saying tonight, I want to keep it short, like 30 minutes, so that uh, we can you now um, squeeze everything that's important in our discussions. Okay. Another thing is um, having a book, writing a book is um, is a way for you to share a passion, to share your knowledge or, or wisdom. It's so hard to reach a global. Uh, it's so hard to have a global reach when uh, you know it, it's it's a lot better when you have a book actually, and then you already have all these social media platforms. You have your YouTube, your Instagram, your Twitter, and just recently because of my social media marketing class, I learned about Snapchat, right? Where millennials are, and uh, of course the the YouTube channel. So there are a lot of ways that you can um, spread your ideas, like TED Talk, see? Especially if you have the book, especially if you have a book of yours that you can share to, to others around. Because when you, when you put your book online, everybody can reach it. So long as there's, you know, uh, this, this, this online um, shop is delivering to this, to this countries, to, your, to other countries, then you are rest assured that you can reach the person to the, you know, wherever they may be. And lastly, and this is my favorite reason for writing a book, is this. I want to, I want to leave a legacy. I want to leave a legacy. I don't want to leave the earth without, you know, making a dent or, to say, just recently, you know, it, it's a personal, ano lang den thoughts, like my insight, you know, think about the people in history and um, those who gr live great lives. We, ba, there's a ten we, ha there, we have this tendency to remember them even if they are gone for a long time. But how about us? It, it's important to ask ourselves, what if I die today or tomorrow or right after this video? How will the people remember me? Remember me, M-E. Alright? So, I guess that's the best way to leave a legacy is through your book. If not for everyone, why don't you just write for yourself? Or write for your children? Or write for your husband? You know, I, I write love poems for, for my husband. <laughs> for my children, I also write poems. So it, all, it all depends on what you want to write, okay? But the point is, just imagine, you know, your... your generations to come they haven't met you in person they 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 don't know uh, and if you don't leave any crumbs behind if you leave this world how can they know how great an ancestor you are right so you see well lester said okay i'll jump right to one comment here lester said i have the desire to write po but i am not that confident Okay, that is always the case with everyone. Uh, we are struggling with this confidence issue. There are a lot of reasons why we are not confident. And one of the things when I was starting, mind you, even if I graduated, um, even if I took mass, 
communication arts back in college. I studied at Lasal. I still had this, you know, doubts about myself. I still doubted myself if I was that good enough. And if I I was writing, I would, you know, edit every now and then. Like I would spend hours on just one page, and I would trash a lot of things. Like ten percent of what I have written, ninety percent was crashed, across out. Only ten percent remained. That's how, you know, that, that that was me a long time ago. I looked at other people. I read about their essays. I, I, I you know, I, I encounter a lot of people who are way, way, way better. They are like this, you know. They they, they are the Olympus uh, type of writers. They're really great, amazing. And if you're, I'm gonna compare them to me, like, what am I? Who am I? What's my what, 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 what is my right to write something, okay? So yeah, when you are dealing with the feeling of confidence, know that you are not alone. Even seasoned writers, I tell you, still go through this kind of phobia. Still go through this kind of um, disbelief in themselves that, that, they, that they are not good enough. But one thing that you can control, really, is how can you get from that point where you are not confident to this point that you will gain confidence and i talk about this this in one of my youtube videos i said there that confidence comes hand in hand with competence okay it's it's good you have to master some confidence at first to get you started all right that's the important thing about confidence you just have to get started and then when you get started it means that you are doing something. But according to, who said that? I'm asking my son. Who said that uh, if you're making a mistake, it means you're out there doing something. Neil, Neil Gaiman. Okay, he said that. So the thing is, as you go along and make mistakes, that's when, you know, you start to become competent because you are trying, you are trying your best to learn how to do it. Okay? Now, the only thing about this confidence and competence issue is sometimes we are so bogged down by the technicalities of how to write a book, about the editing, the grammar, blah, 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 especially if you are a Filipino. We are so, we, we are so, uh, what do you call it, conscious about our grammar, about our accent, so that's it. Even in writing, we tend to adopt that kind of mentality. So I tell you, Lester, the, the first thing you need to do, really, if you have the desire, that's good enough. That's good enough. The second thing that you need to do is, now that you have the desire, you have to get started. That's just the way it is. Uh, you, you, cannot, you cannot produce a book without starting one. I have uh, friends, some of them my friends. I know some people who are dying to have their own books, but... Year after year, you know, it's the same goal over and over again. And they'll say, uh, next year, next year, when I'm better, when I'm better. So nobody gets prepared. Nobody is prepared until you really plunge into the task and do it. So confidence issue, the only way to do it is just do it. And then you will have confidence. And along the way, if you continue with that thing, then you will become confident. Let me know if I was able to address your uh, your concern, Lester, or should I say more about that yeah but that's the thing in fact let me just tell you my personal experience when i started this is my debut book you know this very this pretty pretty book when i started this i had no connections i didn't know any one of these writers no i didn't know them uh they, they are famous they are award-winning authors they are some of them are phil m writers living in the united states right now but that desire, you know, that desire I had back in 2000s, what's that? 2000, what, what year is it? 2020, 2000, <laughs> 2016. After, after I got, um, after my delivery, you know, sa aking bunso. That's when I started writing and I, that I had the desire to write a book. So within eight months, what I did was, I just, I just did it. I um, talked to these people on Facebook, contacted them individually, all 17 writers, 
I sent them a message and they responded. See? So sometimes our fear is stopping us from our success. So don't let that happen to you. If you have the desire now, the next thing that you need to do is, which is my favorite, one of my favorite um, principles in writing is you have to set and follow a sacred deadline. I work with deadlines. I am not this kind of, oh, I'll do it next month or I'll, I'll do it you know, when I have the time when, when things are, you know, when, 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 when I have this uh, confidence or I have this inspiration, I don't work that way. I force myself to, I force myself to, to, to do the task, no matter what, even if I am ready or not. And if I say I will publish this in three months, I will do that. So let's say today, I have set deadlines for my next book, okay? And one is coming out in December, and the other one is coming out this uh, third quarter. And I write specifically the date the day it's important because you know what when you have the deadline you will be conditioned and you will gain the discipline to do it yeah that's the beauty of having a deadline okay now some of you do you have other questions those who are listening to me let me just uh here. Am I going too fast or just I'm still navigating the icons here on our Facebook Live. So anyway, those who have just tuned in, thank you for watching. This is Aya the Charles, your book coach. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. That's Aya the Charles TV. And uh, you will see or you will watch the relevant content about writing. I talk about writing, about book writing, book publishing, and everything book marketing most especially now let's go to what can you write or what will you write for your book okay that's also important you see one of the things that you can do is to come up with a brainstorming you have to do a brainstorming activity ask yourself these questions okay number one is what am I good at okay so what are your specific skills talents abilities you know, some of the things that are unique to you. What am I good about? Number two is, what am I passionate about? What do I love doing? You see, it's, it's a different what am I good at and what is the thing that I love doing. Those, those are two different things. It means to say, what are some of those activities that you do that you don't need any push or motivation, any uh, thing, any outside forces to tell you to do it it's just automatic on you because you love doing it okay what is that is it drawing is that conversing is that selling or you know I have a son and he's so passionate about the ants like every day he would just he would just go out and look out for their colonies but what surprised me is he doesn't just love the ants he studies about all of these ants and I, I get lost in I get lost in translation whenever he talks about the specific species of this plant of these ants. Like, wow, well, there are ten thousand species of ants, mom. This ant, you know what this is? And for me, for me, when I look at the ant, they're just the same. Okay, either it's they're just red or black. But basically, all ants are the same for me. But for him, it's a sacred topic. For him, he would he would <laughs> he would go at length explaining to all of us, you know, to his siblings, to me what this ant is what's so unique about them so what are you so what are you passionate about okay those those are very important things that you need to ask yourself do you love to dream do you love there's so many unique things about ourselves and that peculiarity that special thing about you will give flavor to you to your voice as a writer okay so take note about that and number three is this is also important tell me about what is your work what are the things that you are getting paid for all right it means to say that if people are willing to pay you for that it means you are providing value there's a certain value that you offer that others don't so 
what is your work right now? Where is your vocation? What uh, what are your advocacies? But most especially, what are the what are the things that people are willing to pay you for? So that goes to say, yun yung ano mo eh. You hit it right in the nail because there goes your mind, there goes your heart, there goes your experience. All together will make up for a very substantial, a very substantial um, content for what you're going to write. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Uh, especially for those who are thinking about writing a book, beginners for one. Okay, but then again, so you have to do this brainstorming activity. You write it them down, and I'm sure you will have a long list. I tell you, that's just a lot of things that you want to talk about. But remember these two things when you choose which one to write first. Okay, you may have like ten, ten ideas, but I want you to choose the one okay based on the following questions number one question is uh, what is what is that idea that you will most likely what is that book that you are most likely to finish okay what is that book that you are most likely to finish because um sometimes um there's this uh, dilemma and it is a bad habit to start with you start with a lot of ideas and then you feel so overwhelmed what do you call this like you have this uh, there's this word you get so excited with so much gusto that you want to write about everything under the sun you have 10 topics all together writing them but I tell you just have you have to prioritize you have to prioritize because uh, it's important that when you set a deadline you really finish the book do not ever start something without finishing it especially with writing a book because the repercussions are so deadly <laughs> trust me uh because when you don't finish it you start a habit that you are not a finisher once you encounter a stumbling block like i don't get inspired at all like i don't like this topic anymore i just don't have any ideas anymore wow that's a big one so Again, uh, remember that do not do that. So ask yourself, even if I like this, so what am I passionate about? But how soon can you finish this? And how likely are you going to finish it? Okay, how soon and how likely are you going to finish it? Because writing a book is a tedious undertaking. It's not, it's not easy, really. It's not easy. I don't want you to think that it's, it's, it's easy. Um, it becomes easy when you when you have a system to follow okay it becomes difficult when you don't have any method at all and probably I'll be talking about that in my next uh, Facebook live all right so that's it next is uh, what 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 would what else would I would I want to talk about okay so again one of the things that can help you finish something because that's the goal the goal is to start and to finish one of the secrets or the key elements so that you will be pushed to really go for your goal is you get a an accountability partner accountability partner who is that what does that mean to have an accountability partner okay you need someone to know that you are writing a book. That someone should know when you are going to publish that book. Okay? And that someone should be um, should be bugging you enough so that you will so that person will remind you every now and then like where are you are right now? So, you know, how are you progressing? Are you on track? You are already lagging behind your schedule. You need that someone. And for me, that someone is my husband. Okay, my husband is my accountability partner. In fact, a few years ago, I think more than a decade ago, when he told me, you write your book, you publish it. And I said, I'm not yet ready. He said, okay, uh, I'll give you like two months. Really? Two months? But I was able to do it. And the next thing he did was he organized this book launch here at uh, here at SM Cebu. It happened to me, and my friends came, and I was so happy. You know, dream came true for me. 
And several years after, fast forward to today, three years ago, it happened again. Because I have someone to remind me of my goals. That is very important. Okay? So, uh, you know the saying about goals. When you have a goal, you have to declare it. If you keep it to yourself, most likely, <laughs> it's not that you will cannot achieve it. But, you know, you will be pressured. There's this pressure for you to do this because you already declare it. And it's not really about bragging. It's just about you wanting to uh, make sure that you you are able to achieve your goals. Okay? So, you know, when you write a book, there's just a lot of lessons along the way, experiences. And it's just a different life altogether. You know, when you are a reader, uh, you, you read a lot of books, you come across different lives, diba? Ang dami mong kakilala. Suddenly, you, you were able to live a life of a nurse, of a firefighter, of a widower, of, a, you know, the, the different kind of people. So, sabi nga nila, when you are, you are a reader, you're so engrossed with the material, and everyone is just having their, living their, same, you know, same lives. But here you are, you have just gone through a traumatic experience with a, fictional character in the book and they don't have any idea but the thing is your life is enriched after that isn't it um you know when i when i read a book sabi nga i, I read a quotation that says when your mind is stretched it doesn't go back to its original dimension the same way goes to how our our personality and our characters our character are changed or are enhanced when we read books, really good books, you know? Naiba yung ating perspective, alright? You, you tend to have, you, you tend to understand people more. You become more sensitive, you become more accepting because you know for yourself that there are, people have different issues and the, the, the people have um, different views about things. So, you tend to, you tend to be really, um, to show uh, empathy, right? You have the you can show empathy because of that. But ba <laughs> Okay. Any more questions for my uh, from my guests tonight? Those who are watching me, and I'm talking. I talked about why is it important that we take this time to write our book. You know, probably in the next three months we're still here, stuck in our homes. I mean, we can or even if we want to go out. What 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 else is there? No, I mean, what do you anticipate that you will see outside? Nothing. So, we're just in the comfort of our homes. I know you've been binge watching. I know that because I'm doing that once in a while. I'm watching Netflix as well, and that's a plug. <laughs> and uh, those things. But make sure, make sure you you do something worthwhile that you will be proud of. Something that will give you an advantage. That something that will add to your, to your credentials. Start building, you know, your, your, yourself through writing a book. Okay, so, uh, if you don't have any, I, I'd like you to really, to really throw me some questions so that uh, we can keep the discussion going, and I would know what, what is in your mind. How can I help you? If uh, what stage of writing are you in right now? Okay, so again, you know, sometimes, sometimes the best thing really because I have this, I also have this sh stories in my mind, or actually written on paper that I have stuck some some place. No, no, I've already hidden them, never touched them for many years, and I, I'm thinking about going back to to all of these old files. I suggest that you can also do that, but. Um, use the technique that I told you a while ago. That it's better for you to start anew. Come, with, come up with fresh ideas. There's just a lot of things. You know, the thing about book writing, the same with any business, is is the same. It's really providing value to your readers. That that's the most important thing. Last night I was uh, with Doc Gigi Suma. She was my webinar training guest last night. And she talked about these things, no? Sabi nga niya, ano mga pwede mong buksan na negosyo amid the pandemic? Because right now, e-commerce is big. The other businesses are really down today. So maganda pag-isipan natin to. And, and that only confirmed to me that I am doing the right thing. That I am on the right track. 
in the last three years it's been a lot of hard work really but I'm sorry really my dear friends it's a lot of work for me I have a full-time job I have four kids I have other things going on in my life super busy life here but I made sure that I understand my goal my goal is not just to write a book but I really want to establish myself in this industry I want it to be my career also to become an author and in the last three years, it's been a lot of hard work just creating those social media platforms, trying to engage people, collaborating with people internationally. Those are, you know, those are really daunting tasks at first if you're going to start out there. Especially if you don't know any connection, you don't have any mentor. Like most of the things that I learned were self-taught, actually. I would spend uh, sleepless nights so that I could join some free webinars given by other authors living someplace, uh, other in other places. I did all of those things. I read a couple, a lot of books about how to write, and I still doubted myself. I still don't know if I'm that good. But hey, after three years, here I am with more than 15 books already. And people come to me, and they ask me to collaborate with them. They ask me to... That I could be, if I can be a special guest on their book, if I can write the foreword or write a review, if I can also interview them. So you see, it's just, uh, it's, it's the, 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 the vastness. You know, there's just a lot of possibilities when you go for this. I didn't know this because, like I told you, I have no relatives. I have no relatives. I have no friends who are authors when I was growing up. I, I really didn't know anyone. So. I told myself I just have to do it myself so that I would, you know, leave to tell my own story to those who would want to hear or would want to navigate this tricky, you know, something it's it's tricky really when you are starting. But if there if your heart is here, then everything is possible. You know what? Um those some of the things that I didn't know before, now I know and I have proven it to myself that it's possible. It's possible to become a bestseller when you're a self-published author. It's possible for you to get people to feature you on their podcasts, on their YouTube channels. It's possible that you can market yourself by the use of this wonderful technology. You don't need a you don't need to have a big name first, you know. That's what I learned. Imagine those people. I in my social media marketing class this week, we're studying about those who made it big on YouTube, and I saw the list of top ten, top ten uh, YouTubers, and um, you know, I I figure those who are most viewed, most liked videos, actually they are just uh, not not just. I will not say just, but. You know, there are simple videos, not complicated ones, na ginawa lang nila sa bahay, they set up a really good uh, place. Eh, parang ganito lang ginagawa ko, di ba? There's nothing professional about what I do, even the lighting is not that really good. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about the audio, hopefully you are hearing me right now. And uh, that's just it. Lakasan na lang loob, di ba? That's just, you have to trust yourself that you can do it. Uh, before you feel like you are faking things, <laughs> you, you you feel like you are trying to trying to uh, what do you call this fool people because you don't know where you're really going to. But now, at some point in your life, you're gonna get it. At some point in your life, you're gonna make the mark. At some point in your life, people will will start believing you. Okay. So again, babalikan ko lang ang pinaka core foundation of all of these things is really. The faith in yourself. That's it. If you believe in yourself, you will be unstoppable. You will be unstoppable, I tell you. Nobody, no amount of bad feedback, no amount of naysaying, or, you know, people trying to tell you that you are not that good. No amount of those things will actually affect you if you have an indestructible belief in yourself. Sabi nga na asawa ko, banggitin ko daw siya. So, I'll talk about Erwin in a few minutes. That's my son. He's writing haiku poems. I influenced him, right? <laughs> and my daughter also is writing some poems. And they're on their way to finishing the, those manuscripts. And we will publish that before the pandemic is over. Okay, anyway, about my husband. So, just to tell you, writing is also for non-writers. Writing a book is also for non-writers. Because sometimes you think that you are not that good. Sabi naman niya sa akin, may permiso ako. 
my husband is not really a writer. He is not. <laughs> he doesn't even know a lot of things about grammar, syntax, blah, 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 poetic device, everything. So he doesn't know those things. But what I love about mo most, uh, what I love most about my husband is this indestructible belief in oneself. I tell you, not even me can, can really, um, uh, can really break down his self-belief. No, not even. Eh, wala sa kanya yan. So, kaya when he said that he's gonna publish a book uh, a decade ago, medyo, I kind of uh, really teased him or I put him down like, what right have you to write the book? You don't even know how to do, to lay out it properly. You know, your grammar is really that bad. <laughs> I said that to him. But guess who, uh, between the two of us, uh, who published the book first it's actually my husband it, it was him who published this book and this became a bestseller imagine that a non-writer that's why he would tell me um sometimes he would tease me oh so how is your yearnings doing this is my poetry book and i i keep defending myself it's because some people you know not a lot of people are into poetry so that's just my excuse but the thing is is able to prove to himself that he can do it. Of course, it might help because I am the editor of his book. <laughs> but that's it, you know, my dear friends. Do not ever, do not ever doubt yourself. You can do it. You know, to this day, I can tell you, I, I will admit it. I am not a good writer compared to those who are really good. <laughs> um, it's just that. I'd like to think that I'm a very hardworking person and I am extremely resourceful. I am dedicated to my craft, to my art. That's it. Yun lang siguro. That's why I give more time, more time for me to improve myself. I'm, I'm more after improving my writing. Because sometimes, uh, when ka na, it's just about producing books na lang, no? It's not just about, it's not about the quantity, it's about you making a brand about yourself how you are as a writer so ngayon uh, aminin ko talaga in terms i haven't written a novel i'm still writing it and i'm not i have this still you know the voices keep popping on my head telling me hey are you good like can you is that really the the right way to do it so i keep hearing voices like that but i i try to shut shut their, them off no so but so that i could continue with my, with my work so that's it indestructible belief in oneself it's extremely important when you are starting in this in this career this is a career so make sure that over time you will you will learn you will learn to love yourself you will learn to love what you are doing okay and dami ko na sinabi para ang bilis ng oras no it's already 42 minutes and uh, i think i'll just i, I have to wrap up this uh, live natin para hindi masyado matagal to those who will view it once again okay as we close again you know i i believe in you but you have to believe in yourself okay yun naman sinasabi ng mga book coach sa inyo palagi everyone your mentors will tell you 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 know what you can do it but really you have to tell yourself that you can do it and when you do that make sure that you will really do it you know you respect yourself how much do you love yourself how much do you respect yourself you owe it to yourself when you leave this world do not leave that do not live without a dent. Sayang naman yung buhay mo, di ba? And so many things, so many good things have happened to your life. You, you have touched a lot of people. You have, uh, you have uplifted them, inspired them. Please, please make sure that, that you will write about those things that will make your generations happy and proud that ikaw ang kanyang lolo at lola. Di ba? Leave a legacy. Sabi ko nga, ang aking, ang aking, um, they call this tagline. This is the tagline of GMJ Publishing. This is Ink Your Legacy. Ink Your Legacy. There are many ways to leave a legacy, but I am advocating that people will ink their legacy through their books. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do go to Ayo Gutierrez TV and please subscribe. And if you are that generous, share my YouTube channel to your friends. And if you haven't done so, go to my Facebook pages, The Poets League. That's where writers are. That's where we, I put my anthology projects. And this is actually a shout, shout out to those who are poets, who are writing poetry. If you want to try out for my anthology project which will be participated by 100 authors worldwide it's gonna be a big project and i'm positive that it's gonna be a bestseller so mind you if you want to be a part of that then gather your guts and submit your entries 
who knows you could be uh, one of those 100 poets that will be chosen and lastly um, if you haven't done this uh, also subscribe or like my jmj publishing on facebook okay dear friends thank you so much for for being with me. I appreciate all those who are watching me, all those who will be sharing this video to those people whom you think will be needing this kind of uh, rara sis bomba, our uh, pep talk, right? So sometimes all all people need is a little push. Even eagles need a push, sabi nga. Kahit yung mga magagaling, kailangan din nilang motivate once in a while because sometimes they don't know how to do or start things. So, that's it. I wish you well. Once again, this is Ayo Gutierrez leaving you with his words, Ink Your Legacy. See you on my YouTube channel.